I'll try to make this brief. It may sound like rambling, but just listen to me. Maybe I missed out on this in 2020, but why, within the last four years, are a shitload of YouTubers getting exposed as PDF files, and most of them are geared towards kids now, and they're just losing all that? Just to drop Chris Tyson's name in this video because he's the most recent diddler in the mix and the most obvious one because of his fucking behavior in the past and the shit that he said before his transmission that took place and put him already on that MWP list. That means most wanted person. I mean, seriously, disturbing comments, the lolly loving content that he had and paying a literal fucking prisoner Shadman to draw you some cartoon CP and the fucking disgusting interactions he's had on Discord now. All this stuff just keeps coming out and coming out every single day I check my YouTube account. And honestly, the worst thing about Chris is he has people defending him in the LGBT. Look, I don't care what you identify as, but you're not excluded from facing repercussions from grooming a minor and engaging or in acts of CP or even filming it yourself. So why even defend a pathetic creep like Chris Tyson? You're not that desperate for strength in numbers. I don't get it. Okay? Don't defend somebody because they automatically think they're trans now and then they do something so fucking disgusting. Don't keep defending them. Exclude them. You want nothing to fucking do with this person. That's business. That's marketing and business 101 right there. You want to uh, disassociate yourself from disgusting people. I don't understand all these internet icons and celebrities throwing everything they have away for destroying a child's innocence. And it got me thinking, well, maybe it's got to do with them being rich and famous in general. Like, look, it's no surprise that the rich and famous have large mansions, large sums of cash, awesome cars, yachts, and even private jets. That's quite a good rush that you must get in your head. A good feeling you can get. Or even on top of that, women. Or men, you know, depending on what they prefer. They get as much nookie as they fucking want. Uh, or as much as their money could buy. And speaking about Celebrity Nookie, they probably get so much of it that they grow tired and bored of the initial crowd and its initial effect it originally had. So, what's the next logical thing they can do for someone who thinks they're completely untouchable? How about something very abusive and highly illegal? Bingo! That's what they do. It's, that's the only logical reasoning I could see. Or they were just some like this, you know, for their whole lives, which I highly doubt. Once you're born into money, you don't just grow into this I completely untouchable Steven Seagal-like character unless you're just Steven Seagal. But that's uh, the only logical conclusion that I think I can come to. They think they're untouchable. They think nobody can touch them. But they can touch whoever the flying fuck they want because they got money. Unbelievable.